Man, so you have Brad Pitt, Brian Tyree Henry, Aaron Taylor Johnson, um, a whole bunch of people in this movie, and they're on a train, and they're going fast. How bad can this movie be? What's going on, everyone? Welcome back to Movie Emporium's movie review of Bullet Train, the news film from director David Leach. Okay, so Bullet Train is this new action comedy that is, of course, directed by David Leach, who, of course, did John Wick and uh, the movie Deadpool 2. It's a film about a bunch of individuals called Operators who are, in essence, on this train to recover money or recover something. It's not The, the storyline is not really that important. It's a film about a bunch of individuals like Brad Pitt and Joey King and Aaron Taylor Johnson and, of course, Brian Tyree Henry and Bad Bunny all on this train to do something specific. Specific. And uh, yeah, a lot of action, a lot of violence, a lot of just crazy, insane, over the top strangeness. And it's a movie that is, um, you know, a movie without real story, I guess you could say. It's just they're on a train, there's a briefcase. There is an individual who's trying to get back to a character named the White Devil, and uh, yeah, that's the basic storyline synopsis to the movie, to be fairly honest. So as you can tell from that that story synopsis, um, Bullet Train was a movie that I was not wholly optimistic for, to be fairly honest. I knew going in that this story was probably going to be very convoluted, that there was going to be a lot of stuff moving pieces going on at once. I knew that it wasn't going to have a very good story structure, and if you've ever seen Deadpool 2 or John Wick, there's more style over substance in a lot of these films that he directs, uh, David Leach is, as an individual, than there is what I would call plotting. And so I went into this movie, you know, expecting just to have fun and enjoy it for however long it was. I found out two hours and six minutes. And uh, yeah, you know, like I said, it has Brad Pitt and Joey King and Aaron Taylor Johnson and Brian Tyree Henry and, and like Hiroki Sonata and of course Bad Bunny, who's very famous at this point as a, as a musician. And um, I didn't really go in with much expectation expectations very low standards for this film and uh yeah i got pretty much what i expected out of this film it's uh, a movie with like huge amount of style but really no substance when it comes to the storylines the three story act structure is not there the fact that there's three stories going on at once doesn't make any sense and in the end it's a film that just is there it really is it's a film that's delivering on the absurdity of being on a bullet train where things of violence are happening and things of insanity are happening and there's no call for the police and people on the train seem to be very oblivious to everything. It's that type of movie. It's a movie that is a summer popcorn film. And I don't think I was very, you know, what I would call enthusiastic watching it, but I think this is a movie that's, you know, not what I would call great, but it's enjoyable, I guess you could say. It's one of those films. I think, you know, everybody is having fun while making this movie, and, you know, Brad Pitt is the goofy, over-the-top, silly operator character, and, you know, Joey King, of course, is playing a deliciously evil individual, which I'm not a huge fan of Joey King, to be fairly honest. I don't think she's really done anything worth her weight, in, you know, as an actress, but I think the I think the standouts are Aaron Taylor Johnson and Brian Tyree Henry as uh, characters called Called tangerine and lemon which i thought that was kind of funny they're also called the twins i think they have the most fun in this movie they're the most enjoyable uh aaron taylor johnson's always been very charismatic and i think brian tyree henry is one of the most underrated actors working today like i said there are other individuals like hiroki sonata who comes in as a, a father who has a particular situation and um yeah yeah it's just it's a movie that you know is on a train there's hyper violence and it, you know, moves down the track at, you know, 300 miles an hour or 200 miles an hour. And of course, craziness and strangeness and over the top silliness is going to happen. I, it's exactly what you expect out of it. You don't expect high art and that's exactly what you're getting. The one thing I can definitely say about David Leach as a director is he definitely has a stylistic style to himself. He is an individual that, you know, uses the purples and the blues and the reds and the pinks to full effect. I feel like this is a very beautiful looking movie it sounds amazing in IMAX which is where I got to see it it's a movie just with you know uh, like the way it's shot the way it's produced there is a lot of CGI visual work in this movie which is a little cumbersome it does look a little fake but when you're on the train and you're seeing how they're using space in this movie i think it really does work very well and i think the idea that you're really never lost in the kind of the world that you're being presented is also another positive and like i said it's not a movie that i would call like the greatest in the world but i think david leach has proven himself time and time again that he can definitely deliver on the spectacle i just wish he had a better story to work off of or something a little more cohesive in a lot of respects because when they start 
getting into like the back history and start explaining stuff it just you kind of start getting bored i guess you could say it kind of like makes the movie stop to a, or grind to a halt and there's points where like you know you learn about bad bunny's back history and why he's doing what he's doing in this movie as, as the wolf um and i didn't really care about that and there's other characters that get back history and i don't really care about any of that i just kind of want to see where this movie's going to lead you know on top of everything the worst the worst offender to this movie is the fact it's two hours and six minutes there's no need for that this could be an hour and 40 maybe an hour and 35 minutes and probably would have worked a lot better to be fairly honest it would have been more tightly packed and more tightly structured but here it's just like at some point in the movie when especially when like certain characters start popping up it's just like okay how much longer do i have and you realize you still have like 20 minutes left in the movie and it's just I, I don't know. I just I feel like it just it could have moved a little quicker for a movie called Bullet Train. It doesn't move as fast as I wanted, and it's just it is really weird. But overall, to conclude this review, I think this is a movie that is a lot of fun. It's enjoyable. It has great moments of action. It has some great surprises in it, which I was not expecting. And I think the cast at least does an admirable job of producing an entertaining movie with some visual flair. You know, Brad Pitt is. I was a little disappointed he wasn't eating it. Actually, he did eat some things in this movie, but for the most part, he is a guy that kind of is our character we're following, but we have these other characters that are much, much better. So overall, I did enjoy the movie. I think it's a lot of fun, but it has a lot of flaws. It has no real story structure. And uh, yeah, it's over long. So there you go. Anyways, with that said, that is my take on Bullet Train. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, comments below. Are you interested in seeing this movie? Uh, do you know anything about it? Like I said, it is based off a book. So let me know in the comments what you think. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching. And if you like what you see on this channel, hit the subscribe button to join Movie Emporium. Hit that notification bell at the top to find what's coming next. If you like this video, awesome. Hit that like button. And as always, we'll see you guys on the next video. Peace out.